here we are at Fresh Pickens Farm. It's November 15th. Uh, today we're going to be harvesting some ashwagandha root. It's one of the last things we harvest here because we want it to have a good long growing season so it grows as big of a root as possible, as mature of a root as possible. And that's important so that we make sure we get as much uh, medicinal properties as possible because traditionally ashwagandha is grown as a perennial in much more tropical climates so it has a lot more time to develop but uh, studies have shown that you can get just as potent roots with medicinal properties growing it annually in the northeast so what a great herb to grow for all its different health properties and uh, just a great herb to have on the farm to have in your life uh, it's an adaptogenic herb so it's uh, good at helping your body uh, and your immune system deal with all these ups and downs from you know different things that we're exposed to seasons um, change in, in weather different stress factors um, really really interesting stuff how it's how it's adapting to our body and uh, kind of fortifying us through our daily life um, so yeah w what we have here is it's it's all mowed right now it's like i said it's the last herb that we harvest on the farm because we want all that energy to come back into the roots you can see there's a pretty solid frost today um, so all the top part of the plant had died and i went through and i mowed the tops if you have a small patch you can clip them for us we have a, a hundred foot bed here with four plants wide the spacing is probably eight inches on each plant uh, eight by eight so we really try and do a, a nice tight planting one to save space and I just think it promotes vigor when there's a lot all growing kind of together like that so this has all been mowed down the next step that we're going to show you right now is digging it up and kind of lightly chunking it up so it's easier to clean because the roots are really tight and they hold on to a lot of dirt so um, we'll show you how to dig it and we'll show you what the root looks like Okay, so here you can see we have four of them planted in our kind of row here. Uh, they're really easy to dig. You want to try and make sure you get under them so you don't cut off, you know, any of the roots. So we'll just go down the line, pop it up. Shovel works really good for this. Some of them are pretty stubborn because they're pretty deep down in there, but that's what we're after, all this root material. And you can see the next step, we're gonna use a little hatchet to cut off these stems here. And also the dirt gets really packed in to the centers of these roots. So it helps to, once we cut off the top aerial portion of the stem, we kind of like chunk it up with a uh, hatchet really quick. So let's show that process. So yeah, definitely something you don't want to lose a finger doing, but uh, maybe this one's a better one to start with, but you can see all this green uh, stem on top here. We want to get that off. So we'll start by just taking that off. We'll do that to all of them. And then the next step is to kind of gently break them down. Just a little bit. You don't have to use a lot of force to do this. And what that's going to help with is when we go to wash it. We put it out on a screen when we wash it. And this really helps get all the dirt out of it. So just that there is all we do. And then we just load it into these bulb crates that we use for other things on the farm. So this is the fresh root chunked up like we've done. The smell is just... I mean, it's like the ultimate earthy, rooty smell. It's really something. Yeah, it's one of the best parts of harvesting it. Um, so from here, it's going to go laid out on a screen. It'll get sprayed and washed first. You kind of have to spray it one side, flip it, turn it over, spray it again, because it's really stubborn to get all the dirt off. So um, then from there, after once it's clean and been washed, it just goes onto the drying uh, racks and since it's a little bit woodier it's a root it takes a little bit longer to dry loses quite a bit of mass also because of all the water content but 
then from there it, it's kind of tricky to how to grind it up um, to get it to a powder or a coarse kind of granular powder I guess um, you can use like a either a magic bullet or a Vitamix works good um, so yeah it, and then from there you can use it for different teas you can just put it take it in pill form uh, but we usually sell it in just a kind of powdered state that people can choose to do what they want to do with so yeah this is a great herb to grow on your farm uh, it's really good to help with you know energy um, stamina uh, also can help aid with sleep as well so it's a really fascinating herb we love having it on the farm and it's it's definitely a really popular one with our customers